after a short break from the Flat Earth memes after I corrected an old video. We are back with more Flat Earth meme debunkings on this joyous Wednesday. Welcome everyone! Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Flat Earth Meme Debunking with me, Simon and Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a huge thank you to the sponsors of this video, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or you're managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time. All in one place, all on your terms. And you can start a completely personalized website with the new guided design system, Squarespace Blueprint. You can choose from professionally curated layouts and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up, tailored to your brand or business, and optimized for every device. If you take payments for anything, you can also make checkouts seamless for your customers with simple but powerful payment tools. You can accept credit cards, PayPal, and Apple Pay, and in eligible countries offer customers the options to buy now and pay later with Afterpay and Clearpay. Squarespace also has the tools you need to create and sell your own online courses. Start with a layout that fits your brand, upload videos, and customize everything with next generation editing technology. Create engaging lessons your audience will love, then add a paywall and set the price. You can charge a one-time fee or sell subscriptions. Take what you know and then turn it into income with Squarespace courses. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Simandan for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Right, on with today's video and another Flat Earth meme debunking. Now I've been wanting to take this one on for a while actually. It is a colossal misunderstanding of both technology and application. And I am of course talking about this one. You must have seen it, the Flat Earthers love to bring this one up whenever they're talking about the moon landings. Let's take a closer look. Oxygen for one hour. Apollo 17, oxygen for 22 hours. The implication here is that because scuba divers only have enough air to last one hour, then the Apollo astronauts could not have possibly had enough air to walk around on the moon as long as they did. Well, if this is not a fundamental misunderstanding, then I do not know what is. But I can forgive the normal person for looking at this and thinking, oh, yeah, that is weird. If that is you, then let me explain. The reason this meme does not work is that it combines two entirely different systems designed specifically for two different environments and durations. The fact that scuba divers only usually have enough oxygen to last around an hour, whilst Apollo astronauts had oxygen in the region of around 22 hours, does not imply anything about the validity of the moon landings. The technologies are not comparable and they were designed, as I said, for different purposes. Now scuba divers are operating in environments that have high pressures underwater. Now they carry compressed air, not pure oxygen, oxygen in their tanks. So around 21% oxygen. Now of course the amount of air they carry is limited by the size of the tank and the pressure of the air in it. Now due to that increased pressure underwater the volume of a diver's lungs decreases which means they have to use more air and that air is used up more quickly. Now because of this divers tend to have tanks that last about an hour depending on depth and exertion. On the other hand, astronauts in the Apollo moon landings were in an environment where there was no atmospheric pressure at all. They carried a different type of life support system designed to provide a steady flow of oxygen over a longer period. Now those life support systems are highly efficient and were specifically designed for the low pressure environment of space. Now the astronaut suits used a lower pressure and pure oxygen, which is much more efficient for breathing in that low pressure environment. And the suit systems were also designed to recycle and purify air. And that removed carbon dioxide and other impurities, which meant it had an extended lifespan. Now overall, this meme fails in a fundamental way. The argument that the moon landing was faked because Apollo astronauts had enough oxygen to last 22 hours, but scuba divers here on Earth in the ocean only have enough air to last one hour, is a massive misunderstanding of the design of the systems used and the different environments that they were designed for. Well, there we go. I hope that has cleared this one up for you. And if you know someone or seen someone post this particular meme, then you know what to do. Get the link to this video 
and put it in the comments. As always, if you want to see a flat earth meme debunked and you think it needs debunking, send it to me at simandan at gmail.com and I will add it to the list. But for now, we're all done and dusted for another flat earth meme debunking. Thanks so much for watching. It is truly appreciated. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button. We're on the way to 600,000 subscribers. As I keep saying, when we get there, we've got a massive surprise. Thank you very much. Just enough time to once again thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Remember, go to squarespace.com for your free trial. Then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash simandan to get 10% off your first purchase of any website or domain. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a cracking day. And I'll see you on Friday where Flat Earth is having a meltdown. See you then. <laughs>